other the other day yesterday I got up at 3 30 in the morning a.m. and I drove to 10 30 p.m. so whatever hours that is and this morning I think I I say went to bed, but I didn't really go to bed. I, I slept. I tried to sleep in front of this truck. If anybody knows about sleeping in the front seat of a, any truck, especially one of these split seats, seat belts going you know where, got to push them back out of the way. And, uh, yeah. So you can't really sleep, but you get tired enough that you, you, I guess you sleep. So I woke up about five, five or five thirty. Woke up before that. I went to bed late. I think I went to bed around midnight. Anyway, um. So I got up, and I've been going since, uh, I think, 5.30. Uh, I don't know what time it is now. It's on 2, so... 7.30? Yeah, something like that. Uh, but I didn't drive the whole time today. I had that breakdown you guys saw on, on the channel here. Yeah. There was a sale on that grinder. I needed a grinder and some discs. So, naturally, I went to Crappy Tire. So, I picked up a, a grinder. Happened to be on a blowout sale for 20 some bucks. And the big pile of discs, six, seven bucks or something like that. So, and the Canadian Tire. Uh, I think the guy's name is Derek, I think. Derek? Yeah, Derek. He, uh, I told him what the situation was, and he was a shop manager there in a the mechanic shop in uh, Cochrane. And he passed me the uh, cord. I told him what I was going to do. He said, yeah, that's no problem. So, good old boy, huh? And I uh, bought the stuff and put it together and and started grinding, or cutting, I mean. If anybody knows anything about cutting, well, if you really know a lot about cutting, they probably wouldn't, wouldn't have went through what I did. Man, I'm underneath there, and maybe because I ain't been sleeping much, my cuts wasn't the greatest. I, was, well, I thought they was at first. So I made two cuts. I made one cut to get that part of the uh, axle out of the out of the, uh, that side, and I made another cut right close to the, uh, right close to the, uh, wheel hub there, wheel, so it doesn't affect anything, it's spinning right now, but it's not going anywhere, it's only a little snubby thing, but anyway, it's, uh, it's good, got some of these baby wipes, so I take these baby wipes, Pull the baby white up and wipe my face. Uh, I don't smell the greatest, that's for sure. Well, my ears ain't bad, though. Yeah. Living on the road. But I got some nice white. I'll go use the washer and whatever I use. The uh, white wipes. The, the wet wipes. Yeah. Cleans everything up nice and uh, does good. So I'm just cruising, you know, cruising, cruising. 
I can't really put the phone up because there's so many black cars uh, OPP they seem like every person has a every OPP officer has a uh, um, souped up car like some of them cars up to a thousand horsepower they're so fast that uh, I know years ago I was out here and uh, I was in the store and I seen it or well, I heard I heard this vehicle going by and it went like fast I'm talking and I went what the freak and then I heard like almost like the supersonic went Phew! and I turned around because I was well I didn't turn around I was still looking and I seen a black streak go by I said what the freak was that and they said oh that's the new new cop cars that's the new cars they got and I said man they put them in warp speed So these cars, I don't think all of them's like that. I think the head honchos got, got them, but they're dangerous too, right? You got to know what you're doing. You can get yourself killed quite easily, especially when you got some crazy guy in front of you that don't care about life. So if you start trailing him and you try to do what he's doing, then that's when the shit happens. That's when stuff gets people get, get killed. Eh? I'd say let him go and uh, put up a roadblock. You know, and uh, you start chasing people, and you know what happens? They go faster, and they don't want to get caught, so they go even faster. I don't know. But what do I know? I'm not an officer. I never seen so many uh, vehicles, uh, all-terrain vehicles, buildings, uh, boats, boats of all shapes and sizes. Cars, trucks, jeeps. These 18 wheelers, they're pretty good boys, but I'll tell you, they ram right up your buttocks. They ram you right up like that. They ram right up in there. And you look in the mirror and you know, but I've been doing this so so long. I just chuck it in the fucking bucket. I don't care. It don't matter to me. If they want to ram her close. And I can smell the radiator. I don't care. Now, if I get time and the area's good, I pull over a little bit, put my blinkers on, and give them grace. But I'm not, they're not forcing me. They're not pushing me. No. I ain't doing that. And lots of times, I see them getting close. I right now, they're right, right close. I don't even look in the mirror. You know why? don't draw attention to yourself this way don't draw, draw attention to your brain to get all stressed out so I don't even look backwards I'll look ahead yeah they want to pass go ahead I got this uh I should bring this up a little bit. There. Now I can see my speedometer. My tachometer. And my gauges. Yeah. Anyway, so... Thank the Lord, eh? Everything is going good. So far. And uh, other than that axle. But... We got it. We got it repaired or solved. And uh, I keep. Uh, I bought a nice wrench from Canadian Tire out in Alberta. It's a good little carry-on wrench. And one size fits all the nuts on the uh, trailer and my truck. So every second, 
or third fill up, I try to retorque. I'm just checking them, right? There's that truck going by. See it? In the, yeah, you can see it right there. See, he, he can go by. I didn't have to look. So, uh, yeah, so I check them and uh, the aluminum wheels are on the trailer. I got aluminum wheels on the trailer and steel wheels on the on the truck. And uh, on the Ford Ranger with a plow on it. Little black Ford Ranger sitting in the grass. Looked to be in good shape. Probably 2006 or 8. Maybe, no, it wouldn't be a 10. The 2000, mid 2000s to later 2000s. With a little plow on it. Looking very cute. Little black truck. Yeah. And, and, and wheelers, like tractors. <laughs> tractors with buckets. And, it's crazy, man. And, and some of these roads is getting fixed up now. So, if I had my rat rod, my big rat diesel, if I had the moose, the, the bull, but I don't. So, but, like next time, maybe. Oh, me. <clears throat> well, I did something a little while back. I'm not doing again. I went on a little celebration. I, uh, Got this job done, got that foolishness, that beating and pounding and front end all fixed. So I felt I never had no coffee, I had no, no like no wreck, nothing. And I worked all morning on it. <sighs> yeah. Excuse me. So I went into uh, Tim Horton. Always in a good mood. I always smiling and happy go lucky, right? I was really happy go lucky this time. Went in there and the first thing faced me. Looked me right in the eyes. It looked me right in the eyes. It was a uh, uh, twenty ten bits. I didn't settle for ten. I didn't settle for fifteen. Twenty looked me right in the eyes. Went get me. All sorts of cut flavors. Get me. Well, I just said to that person, I said, you know what? I said, I want a large black with a um, espresso foam on top of it. That was like a get you going, right? Get your mojo going, whatever. And then I said, I'd like to get 20 of them teen bits. They're calling my name. They said, yeah, what coin do you want? I said, flavors, different flavors. So I just seen a camper van with a plate worried out sitting there next to a driveway. And a nice camper van in the 80s, Chevy. One of them fancy ones with stripes everywhere. Look at that old truck right there. Old trucks. What the freak? Them's Arcaries. Whoa. I'm, wow. I think. No, Fords. They're Fords. In the 40s. Man. I should turn right around and go back. I'm going to slow this old bugger down here. There's some trucks. That's what I'm gonna do. There was a man reading that bus. <laughs> I'm going back. I'm gonna go slow and I'm gonna video. I don't know why I'm doing this because I guess I can. Because I want to.
two people coming that way. And Northwest on Trans Canada Highway, Ontario 17. In 400 meters, turn right onto Thomas Street. Yeah, that, you're going to hear that computer for a bit. I had to say something again because I'm not about here. Okay, I think it must be up here. Turn right onto Thomas Street. Yeah, turn right on Thomas Street. We ain't going on Thomas Street. We're going on Easy Street. <laughs> there they are, they're up here. In 400 meters, turn right onto Avon Road. Nice. Head northwest on Trans Canada Highway, Ontario 17. Continue on Ontario 17 for 800 meters. I'm not dealing with that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, here we go. There they are right there. That's when the 18 wheelers come. They're right there. The sun's in your eyes, you can He's got an old Chevy. Road. Yeah. Turn right onto McAnulty Road. Yeah, I will. I think they're gonna get me turned around the computer. Continue on McAnulty Road for one kilometer. Oh no, 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 I ain't doing that. this person's driveway just like that that's how I turn stuff around I ain't listening to you you want you work for the gas companies now we're back there we did it guys sometimes you gotta take the bull by the horn and that's what I just did I ain't listening to that computer. Okay, I'll get you out of here. So here's that band I was telling you about. Right there. See it? There's some stuff here in Ontario. And these trucks are coming up there. I see it's a, a blue one-ton Chev. Looks to be in good shape, that cab. I'm coming right off on the side of the road. See right there? There's the trucks. Got a big look. There's that blue ton over there. Wow. That's all his stuff in that house there. Look at that, that uh, four-wheel drive Chevy. ship too. Get this 
window up because it's a little cold here tonight. Yeah, so that was... Continue on Ontario 17 for 47 kilometers. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. That was, uh... Figured I'd let you fellas see it. Went back for you. Show you. Somebody might want to get ahead of me. I always got to keep to the right. Always. Always got to keep to the right. That way people can pass you. I don't know really how much gas. I think I'll get some gas at the Canadian Tire. This is a Canadian Tire gas station. Head southwest on Walker Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Locker, you upside. In 100 meters, make a U turn. Listen, I'm getting gas. Okay. Head southeast toward Walker Road. Nobody's listening. Head northeast toward Trans Canada Highway, Ontario 17. Nobody's listening to you. Shut this baby down. It's cold. Oh, it's cold here. Pull that key out. I got some gas in them. Send them 20 donuts. I sucked back 19 of them 20 donuts. I left one. And I threw it out like in the garbage thing. How much gas I need to put in? What do you guys think? You guys don't think? I'm gonna figure out to lose you. I'll leave you there for now. Normally I check, see how much I. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, thank you. I guess I had to lift the... I had to lift the uh, black... lever on the bottom. It's a black lever here. This is my... I got a Canadian Tire MasterCard, guys. Oh, <laughs> He's got a Canadian Tire MasterCard. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I can come out here. I'm gonna have to back up. I'm too long. Dollar fifty-five point nine for gasoline. Sixty dollars and five cents. Sixty dollars. Oh. oh, five cents. Oh, put this back. 
I always lock the door when I get in. I don't want no crazy crackhead trying to pull me out. That'd be a no-no. Now, here comes that computer again. Trying to tell me what to do. Where'd it go? Reaching for my little clipper clipper. I don't think I can go that way. I don't think anything's behind me. If they don't, they're gonna be getting hit. Backing up here. Doing good so far, I think. I got a split mirror. That means you see double vision. shifting that standard turn right onto Trans Canada Highway Ontario 17 continue on Ontario 17 for 46 kilometers yeah I'll all do that thanks for pointing that out to me Anyway, so good. I had a headache all day. <sighs> Them donuts give me something, guys. And I don't eat sweets. See, I hear a, a celebrator. I was doing a celebrator, and uh, that's a green light. My luck, they keep changing. No, well, I got good luck right now to turn to stay green. Yeah, so I'm just going to come over, so I'm going back over here. Um, uh, they give me something. I guess some little 17 now. you guys up on the window but these dodges has a, a window that's on a, an angle quite a ways from where I'm sitting I can't use it can't put it there like there's there's so much stuff for sale so. and policemen my goodness, they got every kind of vehicle going, unmarked vehicles, vehicles that don't even, shouldn't even be a, a police officer car, they got them, they're pretty smooth man, pretty smooth, but if you mind your business and you don't draw attention to yourself, Honest Max told me, I said uh, I gotta get, I gotta get some insurance. Uh, what in the hell? You want insurance for? And I went, what? Well, everybody's gonna have insurance. Oh, he said, do you speed? He had his glasses on, right crooked. He said, do you speed? And I went, no. Do you drive reckless? And I went, no. Do you use your blinkers and your bright lights and dim lights properly and your and your tail lights and stuff properly and I went yeah he said do you draw attention to yourself and I went no oh what no hell do you want your insurance for you don't need insurance and I said yes sir well you hear that I don't know if my brother Darren was with me or not he might have been with me we went in one time we took a picture I said Darren you gotta take a picture he had a long, long, looked like one of them uh, long rider coats off that western, a long rider. 
and it was yellow. It was a raincoat, great long. And he had a 1940, one of them uh, women, they wore them derby hats, but the men wore the derby hat, but the women had them big old floppy hats. The, the air goes through them, they got a ribbon around them, and they hang down and stuff. Big. He had that on his head, a long rider, yellow rain jacket. And I looked down on his feet. He had one size 13 or 14 sneaker. And the other one was a rubber boot. And the rubber boot was pushing out at all seams. It must have been a size 6 and I think he took a size 10. You ever see them muscle men when they put their muscles up? And all of them, all of them, uh, them spandex they wear and they're all bustled out like the Superman. That's what his foot looked like. Whew. I said, Darren, you gotta take a picture. And he was looking up at the sky when we rolled in. And he, his eye was up there. One eye went that way and one went that way. And I said, Max, honest Max. Darren went, oh, oh don't. Honest Max. He looked up. He had his glasses on. And when he put his head down and looked at me, all his glasses, if he could have had windshield wipers, but a cup of water would have come off the, the lens of them glasses. And he smiled and a couple of teeth was missing and had a pipe tooth here. And he said, like he always says, what a lovely day. What a lovely day. Well, that guy was smart and that guy was strong. Yeah. He won multiple awards as the top Ford salesman. All over the Maritimes. Nobody could get him. Nobody could. He was the best. He had more trophies than uh, than anything. And uh, I catch him quite a few times. He was inside of his car cleaning up the interior. If he got a new car, he cleaned it all up the dash and stuff. And he, and he used transmission fluid. He poured onto a rag, and he poured all the trans. He, he, he wiped it all down, and all the plastic wear, and the vinyl, and he go out and do the tires. All, all uh, transmission fluid. And I said, Max, I said, you got her all shined up. He said, oh, you got to take care of her. I said, yeah, but you got a landing strip here. I, then when the mosquitoes and black flies land on it, they can't seem to get off. They, their feet are spinning. And then, oh, he said, they got nowhere to go. Yeah, they got nowhere to go. Once their feet touches that, that transmission fluid, they're spinning. Almost like you set up a trap into a bucket with a little bit of water on it, and the mice goes in there. The minute the mice gets in that bucket of water, they cannot get out of the bucket of water because their feet's wet and slips on the plastic. Well, that's what he was doing. Didn't it smell some good in there, that interior? The transmission fluid. Especially when the sun hit it. Yeah. Poor old Max. Anyway, he was in there one time and uh, people thought he was a pushover and they was going to, they thought he had some money and he probably did. Anyway, he stayed right in that building. And uh, they came in to rob him. I think they said there was about four people. Big young men. Foolish young men. I guess. It's robbing people is foolish, really, right? Well, when he got done with them, he's got a big bare paw hand on him. There, his fingers was... His fingers were so big, they looked like a double barrel 12 gauge. That's what his fingers was. When he got a hold of you, they said he was tearing the clothes right off the guy's back. And when they was trying to get away from him, he'd pull them back. Just like them old western days and them old fighting days. He beat them to a pulp. They never came back. They never came back. 
so I, I got some wicked acid and indigestion and gas from them. 19. 10 bits. Sorted flavors. Yeah. They should make them holes a little bigger so the whole tar can go in instead of half of it. That'd be probably better. Yeah, I've been drinking uh, water to try to liquefy my stomach. See, I uh, uh, celebrator because I got the truck running and I shouldn't have did that. And then I had one of them. Uh, That's the second one I had. Crappy pizzas from Tim Hortons. Pepperoni. My goodness. Just like you lay out a bunch of raw dough and they throw it in the oven for a couple seconds and throw some colorings on it and they run the machine the roller through it whatever you call that pizza cutter and they don't even cut it properly we, we live we live in a world with weaklings feminine man when I was a kid we dug basements rock basements with a pick and shovel for our father the brother the boys did and I was pretty strong back then weak brain and every time I dad wanted me to do something he bragged me up he said man you're some strong boy you can't do that can you Brent you can't do that so weak minded yes I can man I did it and I did it good I went down over the big 10 pound mall in the basement we had to bend our head we had to dig down and pour some cement and make a basement you can walk under. Back there, now Joe Parsons, back on Lewiston Road. Anyway, Mr. Man, I'll tell you one thing. I beat that rock right to, there's a big boulder. I think there was Wade, there was Darren, me. Maybe it might have been Matthew, Michael, too. But whatever. And I was built back then. I weighed 135 pounds. And I was all muscle. Uh, there's no fat on me. I was lean. I looked like one of them trophy boxers. But, minus the boxing part. But anyway, I was down there pounding on old rock and beat that rock right to pieces because we couldn't lift it to get it out of there. So I lifted about a 200 pound piece, all jagged, like a shale rock. And we brought the wheelbarrow down and we, we used one, one plank. And I, you're, you're going to know where this is going. So I picked that big boulder up in there and slammed that in that steel wheelbarrow. Oh, friggin' gas. It's right here. Not a, I don't have gas. Oh, anyway, threw it in and I picked up the handles on it. She was heavy. So I started pushing the wheelbarrow up, up the, the steps to the porch. Well, as the wheelbarrow was going up, I stayed in the same position until I took the first step, but then the wheelbarrow was going up further. Well, Mr. Man, the wheelbarrow was way above my head, and I slipped, fell right down, face planted in the step, and that boulder uh, came down, rolled right out of the wheelbarrow, right down my head, right down my back, cut right to pieces, and I went upstairs. I was like about 12 or 13 or 14, went upstairs. I wasn't 14, I was about 12, 11 or 12 or 13. Just to crying to the old man. <laughs> and mom said, oh, but John was throwing him. John was throwing him. Oh, uh, dad leaning over like this. He's eating food. He looked over. Oh, uh, that won't hurt your boy. Get down there and start taking them rocks out of that basement. And man, I cried even more. I went down and I said, right dirty, baby. I picked that rock back up. Then all of us had to 